So, Blender 4.0 is out, and everyone is excited about it. But for me, it broke too many things that I'd have to take a while to fix again, so I'll be back on 3.6 after this. But the important question is, does Gravity Collider still work? Well, I made a small animation as an example to show you how I get things set up quickly. First, what if you've already animated something? I recommend going into the Preferences into the Animation tab and turning on Negative Frames. Then highlight all of your bones in pose mode and use quick fit. Damn it, 4.0. Clear all transforms. Then go to edit mode and use this bone collections thing to find your bones. Highlight them, then use gravity collider as usual. I just want to put a reminder that gravity collider works best when the bones are clean of modifiers and their chain isn't completely borked by auto rigs, which is still possible to fix those if you go into their reference skeleton in the outliner and adjust a double rig thing, but that takes some experimentation. Just try to keep it clean. Back to the vid, Gravity Collider works completely fine on 4.0. Now to fix this a bit, I'm going to adjust the speed multiplier because she's 100 times scale for some reason I forgot to fix. So now I'm going to add collision to the body. So I'll look up what the backbones are called. The torso, okay. I'm going to spawn a box and parent it to that bone now. Set inverse, because I don't want it to teleport away. And now I'm gonna scale the box a bit. When it comes to collision, do not be afraid to do anything as much as possible to get the results you want. Even floating boxes in the air guiding your physics. As for the actual collision setting, Remember that Gravity Collider is using a cloth mesh for its boxes. Rigid bodies don't scale, so I couldn't use those. Alright, so this is good enough for this tutorial. Another thing I want to show is how Gravity Collider can do wiggle physics. First, if you're doing a simple setup, you should know that Gravity Collider requires a parent of the chain to work. So a simple one bone test won't work, as that is the parent. It's how it knows how to scale. Now that we have these working, yeah, it's time to go into weight paint mode. Make sure this vertex group area here is on pin and watch out. When hitting undo in Blender, it might unselect it sometimes too. So the key for wiggle physics is add weight to the back of the box. And I made a cut here because I initially made it too stiff. It's actually really sensitive. There we go, now that that's working. Another thing I wanna show is I just imported this force field with wind and Gravity Collider works perfectly fine with these as well. I wanted to end this video by showcasing Memory H's mod for Final Fantasy VII where he added Cat. Uh, the model that I commissioned for into the game. And she looks absolutely fantastic. Every single thing that he did to get her to look right in this game, even though with all the cell shade and everything, it's... She looks fantastic. Man, this is great work. I'll be adding all the links into the description.